Y'all, we are in Daytona. This is my favorite part right here. Watch this. Down the tunnel. Here we go. For the first time this week, ladies and gentlemen, Cup Series qualifying is today. Look at this. Look at this whole tunnel here. We got a new jacket too, new merch. Shout out to Pops. Um, but as we come through the tunnel, qualifying today, and that's it. Just a few hours to the track, so got here late. Uh, just going to be here for, you, for a few hours. Go back to the beach, settle in, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. But for tonight, it's some qualifying. So thank you all for following along, as always. It's an all Ford front row, Joey Logano and Michael McDowell. Yes. 49-465. Yes. Wraps for uh, day one. Like I said, it wasn't going to be too long of a day. It's been a uh, travel day long. I've also had a messed up tailbone the last uh, two days. So driving sucks. Sitting sucks. Walking sometimes sucks. Um, but you know what? We're going to thug it out because this weekend is probably... Uh, the week that I look forward to most every year. So, gonna be a fun year. Um, can't wait for it, but nonetheless, day one uh, ish is uh, kind of complete. Qualifying was fun. David Reagan, Anthony Alfredo locked into the show on Sunday and the duels tomorrow night. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. I got a tailbone injury. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention it in the last vlog, but this is how I have to walk all week. But I cannot miss this week for anything, so here we are. But it's Thursday, y'all. Huh? Kind of forgot to explain yesterday. So this is my setup. You can't see, I got like a blanket below there. I got like a pillow back there because I messed up my tailbone. So of all weeks to do it, uh, this is like the most pain I've had in forever because you keep having to use it. And every time I sit down, go from sitting to standing up, it's the worst. So, um, but enough of that blabber. It is Thursday. Today we have ARCA practice, four o'clock. We have truck practice, five o'clock, and then the duels at seven o'clock. So we got three pieces of action today, heading to the track right now. Got some breakfast, it's about noon. I know it's about one, so we'll probably get there around one, 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 15, uh, one thirty, and then uh, see what kind of content we can get for today. Got the camera with me as well, so it's gonna be a fun Thursday, can't wait. Calm before the storm. We're in the uh, garage area where the Xfinity cars will be when they roll in just a few, but strolling through the Arca and truck garage, just seeing what's happening, seeing some peeps, and uh, hopefully get some good content for the weekend. As you can see, empty for now. We got cars over there, though. Let's see what's cracking. behind me the duels are about ready to start um, spent a lot of today just walking around the garage kind of getting a feel of things getting some storylines written down and uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a fun day of talking to people doing some interviews getting some content can't wait but first we got to get through these daytona duels coming up can't wait and about to go on the radio show can't wait now it's time to talk a little nascar with our very own rj starcific rj is the host and creator of the nascar report and you can find that on instagram uh, RJ, how is Daytona treating you, my friend? Daytona is treating me well so far. The weather is good. We got clear skies, a little bit of breeze tonight. How about you guys? Oh, man, it is beautiful over this way as well. And we can definitely tell that you're there because you got to lift that voice up. RJ Starsvig, he is the host and the creator of the NASCAR Report. You can find that on Instagram. You can follow him on Twitter. He's live there at Daytona. So he's taking pictures, conversating with all of the guys, does a great job. Last year was able to meet him there at Daytona. And it was funny because we had talked about being able to run into each other. And then when I, whenever I got there, it like it's hard to find service in there and the more people that are in there it's even harder so right after the national anthem we're sitting there on what now i know to be where is all the uh 
the affluent people, the rich people, the like, like the the um, who was it? I mean, yeah, but I'm trying to think of like I fist, uh, fist bump Larry Fitzgerald over there. There was uh, Charlotte Flair. I mean, the the list is just ridiculous. You're like, mm, you guys, just your clothes. Like I could tell y'all spent a lot of money on all that stuff. I'm in the wrong area. And anyways, I bring all that up because RJ is walking down and he's like. Dave, like I had some ESPN stuff, and he was like, "Hey, David Hayes." I was like, "Yes, RJ. Like this is awesome, man." And so uh, that was really cool to be able to run into him in person, and and very thankful for him to not only cover the the Cup Series, but he really specifies his his uh, his his focus is on the Xfinity Series, and I love that man, and it makes it a lot of fun to uh, to have him on and be able to get a good take a good take on nascar so go check out the nascar report on instagram that is rj starcevic really thankful for him finding a spot and being able to talk to us from daytona because that adds a little bit more um what do you what would you call it legitimacy Make a pass. Byron blocked him. Got him really. Oh, stable. Byron Blady turned into the wall. Kyle Busch. Others involved. Kyle Busch. Riley Hurst is involved. Caution flag flies. Noah Gregson involved. Ryan Blady now to the front of that car as he will. Quicks just a bit as they transition. Honestly, I don't feel in the loss. I feel happy. Like we uh, we got here and we raced hard and uh, just had a had a fun night, right? And that's that's what. I know you mentioned what it does to prove yourself to other competitors. What do you think it does to prove yourself to other sponsors? You know, to, for the average sponsor to come on board to your team, even on a limited schedule. Hey, we're here to compete. I'm here to compete. What do you think that shows to that other companies? Yeah, I, I think that helps a lot. We had a great sponsor here last year with Power Slap, and, and Dana White was, you know, uh, the reason why we ended up, you know, with it. He's the one that said yes or no. And I feel like my team, we as a team, let him down. We had a tire fall on the first stop. We were lead lap. We had a tire fall on the first stop break a bleeder off and we spent six laps behind the wall fixing the brakes and never got to show them uh, you know that company and, and Dana what we could do and I feel like tonight you know it, it's something that people like them that have you know been on our car before they'll see us you know we, we led a line for several laps I don't know how many and, and we were in contention in the top seven or eight for I think like half or three quarters of the race so it, it shows that we have the capability out of our little shop to go do something cool. And once you can prove that you're ready to do something cool and you're different like me, then people come. So it's yeah. like I'm excited for you know me to be able to represent Central Florida, Hardy County, and, and then uh, Highlands County, Wachula, and it show that you know a small guy that uh, literally had almost no network 14 years ago can come yeah. to Daytona and make the race with his own team. We missed it a little bit, uh -huh. okay, but we were in there, right? Yeah. A wreck is pretty much what took us out of it, let's be honest. So it, it, it means a lot to know that people can see that now and can start you know, getting behind us because we are going to be different when we perform. Yeah. We are going to be fun to talk about, and we are going to be in the middle of it because I am not a normal a normal NASCAR driver. Like Nobody can yeah. say that. I don't, I'm not the same size. I don't dress the same. I don't, I don't do anything, right? <laughs> I'm just me. I just am who I am. So it's, uh, it'll be something cool that people can get around. We just got to keep working. And I want to go to Atlanta next week and have a decent run. We won't be able to get up front like we did tonight because it, it'll just be more difficult. But we can definitely go there and shoot for a top one and that's my goal. Well, damn. It is uh, the nightcap here at Daytona. What a night. Duel 1 was fun. Duel 2 had a giant crash. Um, lots of people knocked out. Lots of people to back up cars for tomorrow. Everybody's in the garage hustling right now. Down below me, we're walking on the fan deck. Um, yeah, fun night of racing. Tomorrow we got all sorts of practices and qualifying. It's going to be morning to night, another full day, hopefully before the weather hits this weekend. Um, so a lot of fun. Look at this view. Got the whole track up here, man. But, uh, yeah, fun night. Tailbone hurts, but uh, we're thugging it. So we'll be uh, back here tomorrow morning for some more racing action. Oh, my gosh, y'all. 
Yeah, I got the Wawa. It is midnight. And this tailbone, this tailbone is no joke. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. But, we're in the condo. About to pop some ibuprofen. Hopefully I can sleep tonight. Cause damn. Oh, or I should say good afternoon. I probably slept way too well because took some medicine for the tailbone and I knocked out till like 11. But we got ARCA practice coming up at one and then everything else after that. So gotta get to the track. Got some things to do. Hey, this is David Starr, NASCAR driver in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2024. I'm just looking forward to, to racing, getting back to racing. I'm only going to do 15 races, so I, I'm looking forward to getting out there and doing the best and being the best we can be. And uh, it's going to be a great season like it is every season, and I'm glad to be a part of it 26 years later. Hey guys, Ryan Ellis here, driver of the number 43 Chevy for Alpha Prime Racing. Really excited for the 2024 season, and specifically here at Daytona, start of the year. Weather doesn't get much better than this, at least today. So, really excited to get underway and uh, see how this year goes. Hey, I'm Parker Klegerman, driver of the number 48 Big Machine Racing, Spike Light Core Chevy, the Xfinity Series, and most, what I'm looking forward to in 2024 is winning. Oh. Hey guys, Caleb Kalsner. Uh, hey guys, NASCAR driver Caleb Kalsner. Uh, number 93, Arc Menard Chevrolet. Hey guys, Caleb Kalsner, number 93 in the Arc Menard Series. Uh, what I'm most excited about this year is we run a full time, first full time season Arc Menard Series and hopefully sprinkle in some other uh, NASCAR National Series throughout the, throughout the season. So, looking forward to it. Hey, I'm NASCAR driver Brennan Poole, driving the number 44 car for Alpha Prime, sponsored by Finance Pro Plus and Mac Garage Door Systems. And I'm uh, really looking forward to just continuing to grow as a person and a race car driver this year and uh, hopefully finally get a 44 to Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Josh Balicki from Richfield, Wisconsin. Uh, the thing I look forward to most this year, obviously driving my race car, uh, but being competitive here in the NASCAR Community Series. This is the best NASCAR series. It's awesome to be here in Daytona, driving the 92 Camaro to start the season. Myself. Buddy, it just, you got to breathe and you're going to make mistakes. I learned what I'm supposed to be doing, so they're, they're really as scary as this is the same as the coach. <laughs> Transition to Atlanta next week. I mean, I know how it can be as a as a team owner, but as a driver, how, how do you look at that going from Super Speedway to now newly a Super Speedway? Uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit more to look forward to. Um, last year, I had wrecked out mid, mid race, so sort of a restart deal, so it wasn't like a big wreck or anything. But it seems like the racing has been pretty good with the trucks in Atlanta, so there's a little bit to look forward to there. Sounds good. I mean, what a damn race! There was about 25 cautions and uh, absolute wreck fest. And now we're ready for ARCA, which might be even more. So, excited for tonight. Let's go. What you got planned for tonight? What's going on? Don't wreck. I'm up here on the fan deck with my cheese crackers. This race is absolutely drunk. 
They started out, crashed in the first six laps. We just had last race that had a bunch of crashes. Now we have this race. We're like, oh, let's keep it clean. Nope. Absolute melee. So now they're double file for the lead right in front of me, right in the background. If you guys can see it, they're back there somewhere. But now they're coming on to turn four. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a crash at any second. But we'll see. Who knows anymore? Let me just tell y'all, boys, it's times like this. You crack open a cold one and you watch some NASCAR at 12 a.m. my man well we'll start off by for i'll start off by saying it is uh, about two in the morning uh we're here at daytona national speedway but after all that carnage you have brought this car to a second place finish what does it mean for you the team just your career you know what you, what you've done as a, a young racer to get to this point second place at daytona what's that mean to you well it's, it's amazing number one this has been a dream of mine since i could think of i used to watch Lightning mcqueen when i was younger i watched days of thunder when i was like 10 and yeah. we, I loved it, right? So that's what this paint scheme's all about. And I decided to bring it back and, and attempt to, to take it back to victory lane 34 years after the movie. Um, unfortunately, we finished one spot short, but after all the adversity we went to, learning a lot learning a lot over the, uh, the race. We were in the tail end of the field most of the race because I was trying to learn, and I also made a mistake on the pit stop. So yeah. I had to go to the tail, and, and then I just stopped thinking and kept my foot in it and went around a lot of guys. So um, like I said, I wish we got one spot higher, but... It just goes to show how strong the Jeff McClure car and Nitro Motorsports really is. So it, it's all down to them. Well, it's 2.30 in the morning. Just heading out of the media center. Hobbling my way because medicine's worn off. So that won't paint his back. But hobbling our way through the uh, fan zone right now. About to head out for the night. Man, what a night. Full of crashes, full of incidents. And uh, now the cup cars that sit right there, in there, waiting to roll, possibly tomorrow, Xfinity, possibly tomorrow. Um, we'll see what happens, but fun night, long night, two in the morning, three in the morning. Let's go home and get some sleep, see what tomorrow brings. All right, y'all, this is uh, the only part of the Saturday vlog that you guys are gonna get. Because unfortunately the race was canceled. And so they, they did get to qualify, the race is canceled. I woke up this morning with a bunch of pains and stuff so I wasn't able to do a morning part. But race is canceled, we got some cheddars though. We locked in, I got some honey, honey butter croissants here I'm about to bust down on. I got a Caesar salad in there, got some good foods to try and keep my body moving. And uh, nonetheless, we will uh, come back tomorrow for the Daytona 500, hopefully we get that in. But yeah, Xfinity's gonna be racing Monday at 11 o'clock, so. Hopefully uh, we'll get there and with the Daytona 500 already done tomorrow, but can't wait. Let's go. All right, y'all. Good morning. Happy Daytona day. And, uh, but it's not, uh, we're canceled. It's raining. Uh, it's 10 AM. They already made the call. So there's no Daytona 500 today, but um, nothing else to do. So still going to head to the track. They might still be having the press conferences. I believe Pitbull's still going to be in there. I mean, there was Pitbull, DJ Khaled, The Rock. So, um, Hopefully, uh, they'll be in there. We'll be able to see some stuff today. So, we're gonna head there and see what happens. Who wants to know the name of my album? Please, like the Monday for the race. It's just incredible to see all the icons that fly in for this. And no, no contract, no nothing, just handshake. Mano mano, baby. I will be here 225. All right, or 2025. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you, Pitbull. We look forward to uh, seeing you. Burn. What up? Um, it's 
may be Maine or may not know. I'm a Florida boy, right down the road, University of Miami. I'll see you at the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Speak very highly. Everybody. All right, y'all, we are in the room. Um, today, obviously, fun day. Uh, we saw The Rock, Pitbull, DJ Khaled. Um, no racing, but you know, we still made a day out of it. I was like, I still gotta go to the track, obviously. So, back here in the room, it's the, the setup here. Nice amenities. Um, but you know what time it is? About to go to Waffle House. So, uh, let's get real. All right, y'all, it's here. Uh, race day is here, double race day, Daytona 500. Uh, it is Monday, not ideal, but the Daytona 500 started at 4 o'clock. The Xfinity race this morning was actually moved back to 9 p.m. So it's going to be a long day, long night. Head to the track, head to the track right now. And uh, we're going to actually hop on a radio at 12.30. I'm getting uh, interviewed on a radio show. So that's going to be cool. We're going to finish that and then get ready for the Daytona 500 pre-race. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait. Let's go. He gets turned by William Byron. Blaney gets caught up. Gilliland. Back is collected. Brad Keselowski gets turned. And Bill and Welch, there's at least a dozen, 15 cars crashing and colliding in three. Off turn number four, racing down the short straight away in the big time. are leaving and uh, the Xfinity race is still going though we got a second race tonight the Daytona 500 is over here come the race cars Woo! It, let me tell y'all something it is cold as balls out here right now I don't know why but man 500 is over William Byron gets the win um, we got some more racing going on right now. Everybody, including Daniel Dye, everybody trying to get through. Dye is in it, collected. Others now spinning to the inside of the racetrack. That will also be Brennan Poole. About a half dozen cars crashing. Come on, at the end of the next one. Brandon Jones steps down to the inside. Smith throws the blocks on his hill. Boy, that was close, and they're getting dicey over here in three and four. It's still Hill the leader. Chandler Smith right second with Brandon Jones all over his back. Up and White flag here at Daytona as we wrap up the next one. Single 
final, at least for the moment, around the top five. It continues to be Austin Hill showing the way. Chandler Smith, second all Straight away they come. Austin Hill now is leading the way off the end of the back stretch, racing his way back to turn number three with Sheldon Creed in hot pursuit. And he is not close enough to make any sort of move. The two Jordan Anderson cars racing behind them for third, but Austin Hill out by himself. He's got six car lengths on Chandler Smith. <laughs> Lane, you uh, had a great night. Uh, I feel like for the majority of the race, you were up front, obviously kept it decently clean. Uh, it seemed like whenever you got to the front, it seemed like everybody else wanted to wreck. And every time I saw your car up the front, they were talking about you on the broadcast, too. Um, first off, how did it feel to, to kind of be up front and run in the mix with everybody with, with your new deal that you got this year? Yeah, no, I'm really excited. I mean, they're probably not exactly where you wanted to finish, but we're happy to bring home a clean race car here at Daytona. Um, we're running, we're running up front there, trying to stay with our four friends out there. Um, unfortunately, it looks like 39 might have got turned over on the last yeah. lap. He had a really good run. Um, but just really proud of everybody on our uh, number 29 RSS racing. Autoparking.com uh, support. And uh, I'm just I'm excited. It's a good way to start the year. And, uh, we can roll into the man. Yeah, unfortunately, he was in position to, to almost try to win that race. Got turned. That's what caused the wreck. But, I mean, you, you were able to work with them up front there at, at, from time to time. You guys were kind of tandem with each other. How is that? Like you kind of just mentioned with the Ford partnership, kind of being with the Seek team. What, what, are the, what are the vibes and what are you looking forward to most as we look forward to, you know, the rest of the year? This is just the beginning. Yeah, just uh, looking for some consistency. I think it's a great start to the year. Now we just got to go to Atlanta and do the same thing. Um, got a really good rhythm with my spotter, Tony Reigns, up there. And um, really want to run up front and try to learn as much as I can. Kind of ask him all these different questions. And, uh, really just kind of put that in the different bank. Looking forward to going to Atlanta next week. I know they were really strong there last year. Uh, better. They were awesome. All right, Brendan Poole, not the result that we wanted. We can, look, we can see the damage right there in the back end. It kind of got ripped off by a few other guys. But, I mean, you were able to run up there, get in the mix there at the end. Just wrong place, wrong time. Take me through it. Yeah, um, really my game plan the whole race was to just try and ride the first two stages and um, try to stay up with the lead pack with the green flag stops. Uh, my guys did a great job, Pinker did a great job. We were able to accomplish all that. And, um, you know, at the, at the end there, that, you know, I don't know, there's less than 15 to go. I felt like if I was going to have a shot, to have something go our way, to have a chance at winning the race, that I needed to gain some track position. And I knew it was risky. But, uh, you know, I, I felt like it was a risk we needed to take. And so, um, at the end of the day, you know, we did everything we could. And it ended up the way that it ended up. But we'll take the 19th place finish and uh, keep stacking points and, and move on to the next one and just keep trying to click off top 20s every single week. Yeah, do you gain anything for Atlanta next week at all? or? Um, you know, I, it just was nice to kind of work with all my guys for the first time and get a race under my belt. You know, a new, new spotter, um, new crew chief, new guys, everything's new to me. So just getting a race under our belts together. Uh, we had a lot of fun tonight, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward uh, to the rest of this year and, and hopefully uh, coming out of Atlanta strong. ...year that you guys have figured out, because the, fall, the, the summer race here has not... Well, man... It's over. Damn. As uh, the haulers are leaving back there, the Xfinity race has ended. Fitting, little uh, main event touch. We love the Xfinity series, but uh, what a day. Another long day. Um, but like I said before, wouldn't trade it for the world. It's uh, 1.27 a.m. right now, heading out of Daytona. It's don't beat Friday. We were here later Friday. But um, honestly, it's the most amazing place to be, amazing thing to do. I hate it because I got the itch now. I got the itch, you know, and I know I can't be there next week and the week after, but you know, the goal is that hopefully soon, hopefully soon that I'll be able to, to go to, you know, every racetrack on the circuit week in, week out and do this for a living, you know? So it's, uh, it's my dream. And this is uh, year three of the vlog here. And hopefully we'll be able to continue this tradition, hopefully at, at, at bigger and bigger heights, you know? So we'll, uh, we'll see. Thank you guys for all riding along with me following along i appreciate it another year here at daytona for speed weeks basically almost a whole week at this point so a lot of fun love you guys thank you guys love this place love this sport love all these people um and we'll see y'all soon yeah hey
stupid and bitch and I start to V. Snakes in the grass so they harder to see. My brother would give up his life to the O. He told me it go be a martyr for me. Said that she ready to corner the six. I hit up Pauline to charter the P. Ain't really leave but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm riding around in Atlanta with sad. Cause that nigga been going harder than me. Nothing to change, I'm just harder to please. Ferrari is making an SUV. We ain't got a choice, we ordering these. Shout out Noel for recording the V's. He know where this shit about to go. Cause nobody touching the flow. They say you alone at the top. But it's gotta be lonely below. You boys getting ready to diss. But don't even mention a hoe. And don't even mention a foe. Unless you boys trying to go broke.